This is the Tesla Cybertruck exoskeleton structure, and it's one of the few SUVs integrated with a monocoque structure unlike the Ford F-150. It uses a ladder on frame chassis which is a little heavier and has its difficulty while making tight turns around the corners. The Cybertruck can also be equipped with several variants including a single motor, dual motor, tri-motor and an all-wheel drive motor, and some refer to this configuration as a quad motor setup. This capability allows it to tow up to four cars making it a strong competitor in its target market segment comparing it with the likes of the powerful Ram 1500 truck pulling capability or its EV rival, the Rivian electric truck. In the upcoming video we will explore the basic workings of the Tesla synchronous reluctance motor and how it works using permanent magnets, so stay tuned and don't miss a beat. What makes the Cybertruck special? Well, the Cybertruck features an exoskeleton frame, one of the very few SUVs that have a unibody design. While most SUVs have a ladder frame chassis as shown in this animation, Ladder frame chassis designs tend to be heavier than monocoque or unibody structures, which can have a negative impact on fuel efficiency and handling when traveling at high speed or making sharp turns around the corner. While monocoque structures are typically lighter than ladder frame chassis, which can contribute to better fuel efficiency and handling especially for bigger SUVs like this Cybertruck. But most importantly, the cost factor comes into play, the exoskeleton frame costs less than a ladder frame chassis. The Tesla Cybertruck can seat five to six people and is presented with this beautiful half aerospace craft type steering wheel. Every model will feature a large 16 to 17 inch touchscreen horizontally mounted in the center of the dashboard. It also features bulletproof ultra strong glass and a polymer layered composite that can absorb and redirect impact forces. Let's see how this bulletproof glass works. It is composed of glass with a polyvinyl interlayer sandwiched between multiple layers. The first layer is the polycarbonate layer, located just below the polyvinyl interlayer, and the final layer is glass. When these layers are pressed together, they can withstand a small caliber bullet. And when fired at a sheet of bullet-resistant glass, the bullet will pierce the outer layer of the object. However, the layered polycarbonate glass material is capable of absorbing the bullet's energy and stopping it before it exits the final section. The Tesla Cybertruck has these powerful electric motors. It has many variants and can be fitted with a single motor, a dual motor, a tri-motor, and an all-wheel drive motor, or some call this a quad motor. All that energy is transferred from this battery pack to all these four motors. This is Tesla's latest motor, featuring a unique arrangement of magnets, as demonstrated in this model. These are the basic parts. Number 1. The stator is a stationary part of the motor and contains coils of wire or windings that are connected to the AC power supply. Number 2. The rotor is the rotating part of the motor. It is typically made of laminated steel sheets and is designed with alternating regions of low and high reluctance, which enable it to interact with the rotating magnetic field generated by the stator. Number three. And finally, the magnets as discussed earlier. This is how it works. Tesla's synchronous reluctance motor, SRM, is designed to improve efficiency and performance. It operates by synchronizing the rotor's position with the rotating magnetic field produced by the stator, leveraging the reluctance effect to generate torque and rotation while maximizing energy efficiency. This in turn drives the gear shaft, turning the wheels of this Cybertruck, enabling it to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and reach a top speed of 130 miles per hour. Moving to the back is the remote-controlled tailgate that can open just as demonstrated in the animations, revealing the Cybertruck's bed which is 6.5 feet long and offers 100 cubic feet of storage capacity. It can carry tools and equipment and can also be used as a camping spot since it doesn't have an engine it can also have storage space at the front which was one of the major advantages for most electric cars. Let's take a look at its specifications. The Cybertruck features a length of 19.3 feet positioning it as one of the larger pickups in the market. With a width of 6.65 feet, the Cybertruck commands a strong road presence. Standing at a height of 6.25 feet, it offers ample ground clearance for off-road, while the body of the truck is made of scratch-resistant stainless steel, making the total weight of the vehicle an impressive 5,000 pounds or 2,267 kilograms. Comparing this to a person will help us understand its size, 
As you can see, it's huge. Let's compare it to its counterparts. This is the Rivian truck, an electric vehicle. Moving forward, we have the F-150 pickup truck, which is slightly longer by a mere 0.5 feet. On the side, we have the Ram 1500 truck, which is longer than the F-150, and the last one is the Toyota Tundra. The Tesla Cybertruck, when equipped with a third motor, will feature an impressive towing capacity of 14,000 pounds, which is equivalent to carrying up to four cars as shown in this animation. In contrast, the Ram 1500 with a Hemi V8 engine boasts a towing capacity of up to 12,750 pounds, akin to towing three cars. Looking forward, the Ford F-150 pickup truck offers a maximum towing capacity of 14,000 pounds, allowing it to tow as many as four cars simultaneously. And finally, the Toyota Tundra and Rivian electric truck has a towing capacity of 12,000 pounds. Both are capable of towing three cars when attached to a trailer as shown here. Also just a reminder these data and towing capacity are all taken from the respective companies which are publicly available. We make original animation videos from scratch. So please support us by subscribing and hitting the bell icon for more engineering videos.